friends, good to see you today. I'm going to be making our recycled bird feeder today. So I took some recycled materials I had. I have quite a few recycled materials that I've been saving and I chose to use an old orange juice container. So the first thing I started doing was just kind of looking at it and using my brain to think about how I would want to turn an old orange juice container into something new, how I would like to recycle it to use it to make a bird feeder. So um, what I started doing, and what you'll need to ask a grown-up to help you with, is the cutting to make holes for your bird seed. So I cut a hole inside of my orange juice container um, so that I could put the bird seed inside here. You'll wanna have a grown-up help you with that part so that you don't hurt yourself. Um, then I also realized that you could peel the side of the orange juice container off. Do you see how the paper and the words peel right off? Now something that you'll have to know about this though is that when you peel that off, um, once you put the bird feeder outside, you have to remember that your bird feeder is probably going to get wet when it rains and you might have to make a new one after a little while. But I decided to peel this off so I could decorate my bird feeder. So you don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can. It's kind of fun to peel the paper off. If you don't really want to peel the paper off, um, but you want to decorate it, maybe you could use a piece of paper. So I have my recycled items right down here. You can see that I have some paper, some markers, um, some old string that I had. I have some tape. So those are some of my materials that I'm going to use. This is um, an orange juice bottle that, or an orange juice container that has not been cut or peeled yet. And this is the one that I cut and peeled. Okay, so I'm going to use some of those items. And I thought to hang this in the tree so that the birds can fly into it and get the seeds out, I would use this piece of string I found. This was on a present from one of my kids, and so I was gonna lace that inside this hole. I'm gonna poke it through, and then I'm gonna pull it through. Do you see how it goes through the hole? And then I pull it through, and I thought that I would lace it. I even made a hole back on the back side. That's the part you'll wanna have the grown-up help you with. And so if I pull it through both of these holes, and a grown-up can also help you with the tying part, but you should first try the tying part yourself three times. Give it a try three times. Pull it tight, and then I'm gonna make this loop here, and I'm gonna tie it again, and the, the grown-up can help you with that part. Okay, so now I use my recycle string on my old orange juice container, and I have the start to my bird feeder, and I'll put my bird seed right inside of here. Now, you can just leave it like this if you want to. That's okay. Or maybe you want to decorate it a little bit. Remember before I told you I had this piece of paper? This piece of paper was too crunched up to go into my printer, so we decided to recycle it <clears throat> Excuse me for the bird feeder. So maybe if you don't like um, part of like this. I don't really like this part. This doesn't look like a bird feeder to me. So maybe you want to put a piece of paper and tape it over that part. And I have a couple of pieces of tape here. And you can just tape it on, maybe like this. Oh. And stick it on like this. And I need to do some more folding, right? But maybe you could do something like that. Maybe you don't want a piece of paper on it. Maybe you just want to decorate it how it is. Now remember, we talked about how we're going to put this outside, and we know that when this bird feeder is outside, if it rains, it's going to get wet. That's okay. The birds won't mind. It will still hold the food, and if it gets too wet and ruined to hold food, well, what can you do? Maybe you could save up some more recycled items and make another one. So I have this whole side torn off. And I think I'm going to write a word. I'm going to write bird. Do you see that word bird? Feeder. 
do you think the birds will read this and know there's food? <laughs> well, I don't think birds can read, but I think that they will know when they see the seeds in the bottom. So maybe you want to decorate your bird feeder with some coloring or some words. So this is just an idea. Maybe you want to use an old milk jug for your bird feeder. So you're going to have a grown-up help you to cut a hole and you'll need a way to hang it in the tree, maybe with a string. Um, but it's your choice, and I want you to be creative. So any way you make your bird feeder is up to you. If your family came to the school to pick up your school supplies, then you will already have the bird seed that I sent home. If not, maybe you can ask a grown-up if you have some bird seed already, or if you can go to the store sometime and get some. It's not a have to, it's a want to. So um, I hope you enjoy making your bird feeder. I enjoyed making mine. I think I'm going to finish making mine with one of my kids and we'll hang it up in our tree and see if the birds enjoy coming to eat out of it. Okay? I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Have fun making your recycled bird feeder. Bye-bye.